Moving on would be Bitcoin, MacDaddy. What's up? What's up, MacDaddy? So for Bitcoin against USDT, we're still falling in a very controlled manner. We still have a target over here at $72,804. Uh, this was the target that we got on the 12th of October, 2021. It's been more than a month already now uh, that we had this target and we are still adamant that um, Bitcoin should hit target, right? We are anticipating some sort of a, yeah, this, this could actually be the uh, completion of a wave A. And then we go out for a B and a C and a D and an E and then pump, that's it. It's entirely possible. Anyway, we have another target over here at sub 86,000, sub 86,000, sub 73,000. We still have these targets. If anything, uh, we'll be expecting these two targets to be hit first before we see any sort of a reversal. Will a reversal happen? We are not sure, right? Uh, this could be left shoulder. We come down for a hit, right shoulder, palm, we drop towards 12,000. Yeah, I don't think so. We could, we could, but uh, let's just take things one step at a time, right? Let me just show you what I think. Uh, excuse me, is the case for Bitcoin. So for Bitcoin, this was a very nice symmetric code that came on, right? What a beauty. Uh, not exactly what I would consider as a beauty, but yeah. A, a B, a C, a D, a E, right? Pew. Wasn't as obvious though. Anyway, um, if we were to consider, if we were to consider this as uh, uh, a five wave structure, this is how I would count it. One, two, this whole thing is a three. We can offer a four. If anything, this could be a five. This could be uh, the final wave, wave five for Bitcoin against USDT. I still think there is more upside to come for Bitcoin against USDT. We hit wave five and then only do we come down, right? So if we were to zoom into the uh, smaller time frames, right? If you zoom in to the smaller time frames over here, you will see that, okay, let's count the sub waves, right? One, two, three, four. Five. It ties in perfectly uh, to uh, another impulsive move, right? There is still a way five that we are expecting for Bitcoin against USDT. So the only thing is, um, we are not so sure when the reversal is going to come, right? Uh, my suspicion, my suspicion, I suspect that the wheels will be taking out the stop cells over here, right? And this is where there was a resistance point. We hit resistance point and then we fell over, right? So this will be where uh, the uh, the area which I would expect Bitcoin to head down to. We hit this area, then only do we see some sort of a bounce back up, right? And then after that, uh, we go for a final wave towards the upside. That's it. We hit it and then deep correction, right? A, B, C, uh, that might bring us to, again, <laughs> 12,000 maybe. I don't know, I can't say for sure. <laughs> I can't say for sure, I don't think so. I don't think so, I don't think so. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I could be wrong and hopefully uh, the bull season continues for Bitcoin, but we have to be realistic about things, right? Look at this move that came, right? Hopefully we get another move like that, bringing us to $500,000, hopefully, hopefully. But again, uh, we have to take things one step at a time. Uh, and the next step is sub 73,000. After that will be sub 86,000. So as it stands right now, these two targets are still valid. And yeah, we're expecting a wave four to complete and then we go for a wave five, right? So yeah, be careful, be careful uh, about going short. Uh, I've, I've seen some of the other uh, boys on YouTube and Twitter, they're, you know, calling doom and gloom. It's like, yeah, no, it's not yet. It's not yet doom and gloom. Uh, we'll know when it is uh, doom and gloom. Uh, we'll see a very nice, uh, you know, a proper bearish reversal, but we don't see it yet at this point of time. And if anything, we're expecting continuation. So yeah, uh, I stand by what I say that there's still more upside for Bitcoin at this point of time. Of course, things can always change, but I stand by what I say uh, that we should be hitting at least 73,000 at this point of time. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but yeah, things still look good to me. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it stays good, right? <laughs> if we collapse down, yeah, this is bad. This could be the beginning of a big collapse, right? I hope not, I hope not, I don't think so. So yeah, again, at this point of time, you gotta be very, very careful uh, about going to a trade too soon, right? Because we're still unsure how much lower Bitcoin is going to go. We're still above the skinny pink line, and as long as we're above it, we remain bias bullish. All right, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today's Crypto TA. I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you in the next, next one, all right?